relationship, so that supporting them throughout their lives and bless their homes with a place of love and peace. And in times grow hard and tempers grow short, help them to look to their hearts and remember the love that brought them here today. In your name we pray. Amen. You may be saved. We've been invited here today to witness and to celebrate the uniting in marriage of Brad and Brooke. They're taking their first step of their new beginning, their new life together. The ability and the desire of one human being to love another is perhaps the most precious and fulfilling gift that's ever been entrusted into us. It's an all-consuming task a lifelong endeavor, the journey we've been preparing for all our lives. Loving someone is the reason that we stretch beyond our limits to become more for the sake of the other. It is to look into the soul of your beloved and to accept what you see. Loving is the ultimate commitment which challenges human beings to become all that they are meant to be. As you're joining marriage today, Brad Book, you're announcing to the world that you're welcoming this challenge. It is the hope and desire of everyone that you have a happy and a successful marriage. But in the art of marriage, it doesn't just happen. A good marriage has to be created. It's remembering that the little things are the big things. Never being too old to hold hands. Remember to say, I love you at least once a day. Never going to sleep angry. Standing together facing the world and giving each an atmosphere in which each can grow. It's a common search for the good and the beautiful. It is not only marrying the right partner, it is being the right partner. I often asked some of this stuff in great brevity when he penned these words. He wrote, to keep your marriage brimming with love and loving God. Whenever you're wrong, admit it. But whenever you're right, shut up. <laughs> so Brad, do you love Brooke willingly and completely, withholding nothing? Do you protect her? Give her your deepest consideration to her feelings, desires, and needs? Will you strive to keep your love flexible and adapt to the ever-changing circumstances in a marriage? And will you be Brooke's counselor, helpmate? sweetheart and lover, and her best friend from this day forward. And Brooke, will you take Brad willingly, completely, withholding nothing? Will you protect him? Give him your deepest considerations of his feelings, desires, and needs. And will you strive to keep your love flexible and adapt to the ever-changing circumstances of a marriage? And will you be Brad's counselor, helpmate, sweetheart, lover, and best friend from the state ball. Brad and Brooke, as you stand here today in front of these witnesses, I'd like to remind you that loyalty and trust are the basis of a mature and fulfilling relationship. Marriage is a serious undertaking. It's intended to bind your lives together forever, and it's not to be taken lightly. Your engagement set in motion the interweaving of your lives. And we all hope that you'll continue to grow closer throughout all your years together. None of us knows what the future will bring. Yet you love for one another, the trust and the strength of your union should make possible the act of faith for your future together. As you exchange the vows that you're about to exchange, you'll start on this journey together. Know that your love and our love and support, and the love and support of your family and friends goes with you into your future. And as you make these promises to each other, all of us will remember the promises that we've made and take this opportunity to make them anew. So Brad, if you'll gaze into Brooke's eyes and repeat these vows to her, Brooke is your husband. I promise to care for you, to trust our love, to be responsive to your needs, communicate my feelings, 
and behave in a way that shows my love and respect. I say these things because I love you and want to spend the rest of the life, rest of my life with you today. And your turn, Brooke. Brad is your wife. I promise to care for you, to trust your love, to be responsive to your needs, to communicate with my feelings, and to behave in a way that shows my love and my respect. And I want to live out the days of my life with you. Brad, Brooke, you're standing here holding hands and I'd like you to take a moment and recognize the gift that these hands are to you. For these are the hands of your best friend. It's all to yours every wedding day. Promising to love you, to work together with you as you build your future. These are the hands that give you strength when you need strength. Tenderness when you need tenderness. And of course love when you need love. These are the hands that will countless times wipe tears from your eyes tears of sorrow, and tears of joy. And these are the hands that will hold all those whom you love. And these are the same hands that years from now will still be searching for your hands, still seeking the love, the encouragement, and the support that each of you seeks for the other. May I have a next, please? Thank you. That one, you want to move your hands with me and let this go on first. And Brad, if you'll take Brooks ring. As you place it on her left ring, ring finger, left hand ring finger, if I can say it right, repeat to her these words from this ring, I be with you. And Brooke, you take Brad's ring, place it on his left hand ring finger, and repeat to him with this ring, I be with you. And you your hands and gaze in each other's eyes for the most important part of this ceremony. <laughs> now you'll be on a rain, not just because we're standing here. <laughs> for each of you will be shelter to the other. Now you'll be on a coat. For each of you will be warmth for the other. Now there will be no loneliness. For each of you will be companion to the other. Now there are two persons. But there's only one life ahead of you. May beauty surround you both in the journey ahead throughout all your years. And may happiness be your companion and your days together be good and long upon this earth. Throughout this ceremony, Brad and Brooke have vowed in our presence to be loyal and loving to each other. They have joined their hands, exchanged rings, exchanged vows of love and commitment to each other. So it becomes my pleasure and my privilege by the power invested in me by the state of Alabama to pronounce your husband, and wife, and graduate now, Mr. Wife. Give him a hand.